On Sunday, September 6th, we released our two three-stripe mud turtle hatchlings uh, you see here in the photo. They were born on the 17th and the 20th of July after incubating about three months. Beautiful little turtles, grew very fast, and I think they're going to be real happy where we let them go, I hope. Hope they survive. Uh, we did have some other visitors um, in the area. We saw about four alligators. Uh, the largest one might have been around six or so feet. This one looks to be about five feet. Uh, got very close, came right up to me on the shoreline. Apparently they're used to being fed, which is unfortunate. Uh, feeding alligators is against the law here in Florida. Uh, we don't want them to get too friendly. At this size, no big deal, but when they get to be eight to 12 feet, it's a real problem. So this is the spot. It's 2.30. Um, September 6th, right? Mm -hmm. And here's the spot on the Hillsborough River where we're going to release two three-stripe mud turtle hatchlings in that little tub right in here. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Let's go. You're a free turtle. Come on. Look at him go. Wow, he buried into the mud. Come on. His little head's starting to come out. Come on, you're free. Go oh. for it. Come on. Don't be afraid. You are home free, buddy. Oh, right into the mud. That's yeah. this there. Fantastic. Oh. Wow. They're both out of sight. Oh, you can see them moving see them under moving. the mud. Yeah, like at the bottom. Oh, there. they're great. Oh. Look at that. Can't see them anymore, but they're, yeah. they're out of here. Yeah, well, here's the spot. Great spot. Mm -hmm, I like the spot. Great mud turtle habitat. Yeah. Shallow, muddy, tannin laden water. Turtles are right in front of the camera lens, but they're buried underneath the leaves and chips of wood and bark, mud, and mosquitoes are all over me. Good luck, guys. Okay, here's the area. Nice. You could take away the mosquitoes. Fantastic. Beautiful place. Two three-stripe mud turtles are free. Born on uh, July 17th and July 20th, they had their eggs were laid on April 13th, and off they go. Well, we no sooner released our two mud turtle hatchlings and uh, took a little walk down the river and got about 100 yards and we started seeing alligators. We saw four altogether. Uh, this one, a uh, couple smaller and one a little bit larger. We think this one was about maybe five feet long or so. Um, pretty curious alligator. Uh, he ventured uh, quite close to shore. I think perhaps uh, people are feeding this little fella. After initially swimming away from me briefly, he, uh, he or she turned and swam directly towards me on the shore. Uh, here it is at around maybe 12 feet and uh, coming on in. Pretty obvious this little gator has been fed before. Uh, people fish along here and could be uh, it's been attracted to uh, bait uh, left uh, in the water by the fishermen or perhaps people have actually just tossed food out to it which is not a good idea but nonetheless a very friendly little alligator healthy looking specimen here he is uh, real close to the shoreline at this point I tried stepping down into the water to get a close-up photograph of it and uh, he disappeared beneath the surface of the water in a flash and we ran into some birds uh, of all kinds. Here's uh, something I believe is called a limpkin, L-I-M-P-K-I-N. Rather interesting looking uh, water bird. There's an alligator out there uh, swimming, swimming by, maybe uh, 30 or 40 feet away. Real pretty bird, busy looking for munchies in the uh, grass and in the mud. No shortage of birds around here. There he is. 
These birds better watch out. He's facing us. Yeah, he thinks I have a peanut. Looks like the guy who was bugging me the other day. I wonder if these birds are aware of that gator. Well. It's cool. Just coming down for a close-up. It's okay. Whoop, down he went. Well, that was more about alligators and turtles, but in any case, uh, our two little mud turtle hatchlings are free turtles now, and all we have left uh, hatchling-wise is this little tiny musk hatchling. Weighs only two grams. We found him uh, just under three weeks ago, doing very well, all by himself in the little hatchling tank. And we're going to fatten the little guy up, cute as a button, and release it in the next couple of weeks. Till next time.